Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip. With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood. Surfing on the sound wave. Drop your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pile on the magic, magic scuba. Uh. Step inside, it's a wild ride. What am I going to do? Lost rocks? Lost minerals? Not a problem, Arnold. We'll take a field trip and go directly to the source. Volcanoes are chock full of exciting stuff like magma and gases. It's really neat to think that new rocks are being formed all the time. Sometimes volcanoes are explosive and sometimes they're not. Volcanoes send chunks of rock called bombs flying through the air. Volcanoes by Wanda. See all those tabs? Click on them to check out the different sections of my report. Volcano Basics Volcanoes around the world. Igneous rocks. Rocks are rockin'. When the ocean floor moves apart, things get pretty interesting. Mid-Ocean Ridge by Phoebe. If you want to check out the other section of this report, click on the tab.
Cracks are fascinating because they're giant cracks in the earth. Faults by Dorothy Ann. Click on the different tabs to investigate all the sections of my report. Dramatic stuff happens at a fault, like earthquakes. They might not look like much on the outside, but geodes are awesome on the inside. Geodes by Ralphie. Click on the tabs to check out other sections of my report. Canyons are really cool because they're like giant geological diaries. Geodes are cool once you crack them open. <laughs> it's really cool that caves get made by water underground. It's amazing to think that something as big as the Grand Canyon was made by a river. Caverns by Keisha. Click on the tabs to see the different sections of my report. The Grand Canyon by Tim. Click on the different tabs to check out all the sections of my report. Just click on the bus to start the adventure! Click on the gear shift to find out where this bus can take us. Then, click on the go button to get there. Welcome! Feel like helping Arnold find the missing samples from his rock and mineral collection? First, listen closely. There are three kinds of rocks igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Arnold is missing one of each, and he's also missing a mineral. Now, check out those four empty spaces in Arnold's collection box. Click on one to hear your first clue about the missing samples. Click on the rock transformer handle to set the transformations in motion. Now you 
get to dress up me and Keisha in whatever outfits you choose. Click on the arrows to make us try on all kinds of hats, shirts, pants, and shoes. I bet it's nice and peaceful on the moon. Hit the switch on the right to change which kid you dress up. You can do some really great stuff at the geo table. Welcome to the Rock Transformer. You can put stuff into the rock transformer and see what kind of rock it's made out of, or you can put a rock in and see what it makes. You can do some really great stuff at the geo table. Click on a rock and move it to the table. Then use the tools to examine it. Click on me if you need help using the geo table. This Earth Kitchen is super cool! To be a rock chef, just follow the recipe. If you're not sure where to find an ingredient, check out the shakers or look through the drawers. If you need help with the Earth Kitchen, just click on me!
Welcome to the Fossil Puzzles. Let's get started. Click on the arrows to choose a puzzle piece. Then drag the piece to where it belongs. Good luck. These are fossils from Paleozoic times, 400 million years ago. I hope you have your thinking cap on, because these puzzles can be pretty tricky. But you have all the time you need, so if you're not sure about where a piece goes, try a couple of different places until you get it right. Way to figure out where that piece goes. This is what the floor of the ocean looked like 400 million years ago. Those fish are the oldest fish we know about. They had heavy armor made out of bony scales. Think you can solve the next puzzle? Can you get your bat out of the cave maze first? Use your up and down arrow keys to move your bat. Use the left and right arrow keys to control your bat's flying speed. What kind of volcanic eruption can you create? Select your variables, low, medium, or high heat, and gas or no gas. Then click on the button to start erupting. The chances 
chances of a volcano forming are pretty slim if you use high heat and gas. Try another combination. just made this cool composite volcano with low heat and no gas. The lava is sticky and will turn into obsidian. It could... This is a map of what the world looked like 250 million years ago. There was one big ocean and all the continents were joined in one huge landmass called Pangaea. So, you want to play the Pangaea puzzle? Click on a puzzle piece and drag it onto the globe. Click again to paste it down. If you put it in the right place, it'll stick. If not, the piece goes back to its original spot. You must be a puzzle expert!
All right. Ready to solve the next puzzle? We just zoomed ahead 150 million years after Pangaea. This is what the world looked like 135 million years ago. You can see Africa and South America. Notice that Europe and North America are starting to split apart too. How quickly can you help me across this giant fault? Control my jumping power by using your mouse. The longer you hold down the button, the farther I'll jump when you let go. <coughs> Watch out! Hooray for geysers! <coughs> Thank good geyser! Watch out! Thank goodness for that geyser! Watch out! Hooray for geysers! Whoa! Thank goodness for that geyser! It's geode time. Click on a crystal to deposit water full of minerals into the hole. Then start the growing experiment. Can you keep all this lava from flowing into the sea? Click on the tip of the lava flow to hit it with water. That'll stop it in its tracks. Can you keep all this lava from flowing into the sea? Click on the tip of the lava flow to hit it with water. That'll stop it in its tracks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you want to try your hand at cave painting? Just pick a thumb size, dip it into pigment, and start drawing on the wall. Can you help Phoebe and me beat Liz in finding the hidden fossil fuels? Click anywhere above the oil coal line and Phoebe will search for coal. Click anywhere below the oil coal line and I'll drill for oil. But you have to take turns with Liz. Do you have gold fever? Pan for gold nuggets by moving Carlos with your left and right arrow keys. Flip the sister by pressing the space bar. Good luck!
Layers of sedimentary rock are called strata. I guess that means this canyon is a rock extravaganza. <laughs> Did you know that it takes millions of years for sand to turn into sedimentary rock? Hey Liz, cut it out! Carlos, she's just helping to erode the earth by digging up that dirt. Lots of animals do it. Whoa, that gust of wind blew sand right into my eyes. Do you know that it takes millions of years for sand to turn into sand? Welcome to the fossil... Click on the gear shift to find out where this bus can take us. Then, click on the go button to get there. What you can see. Every mineral has special properties. These are clues we use to identify it. Some properties are things like a crystal shape. Another property is color. Some minerals, like malachite, are always one color. But many minerals can fool us by appearing in many different colors. And another property is luster, which is the way minerals reflect light. Pyrite, or fool's gold, always looks shiny like a mirror, while quartz always looks glassy. Crystal looks glassy. Now that we're actually inside of a geode, everything's become crystal clear. These crystals all look like they're different. The most beautiful crystals grow inside of geodes. This geode is pure genius. Sure, I said I love geodes, but I don't remember saying I wanted to go inside one. Ralphie, did you know that pencil lead is not really lead at all? It's a soft mineral called graphite, and graphite is made of the same ingredients as diamonds. There are 
probably a lot of crystals in your home. Check your sugar bowl or the salt shaker. the map first things first class who can tell us about plate tectonics according to my research the surface of the earth is made up of round flat pieces called plates these plates fit together like the pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle bodacious and plate tectonics explains how plates are made and destroyed. What's all this talk about plates? Is it time to eat? No, Ralphie. The surface of the Earth is made up of round, flat pieces called plates. According to my research, the Earth is like this peach. The crust which we stand on is like the skin of the peach. The Earth's mantle is like the fruity part. This rift valley is so cool. There are so many layers to examine in the fault walls. The energy re Another earthquake? This is weird. I feel the earth move under my feet. I wonder what Dorothy Ann and Ralphie are doing. inside the Earth increases by one degree every 60 feet down. The Subduction Zone by Carlos. Click on the tab to see the other section of this report. Hotspot Volcanoes. The Subduction Zone.